Hello everyone, it's Jasmine and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a kind of a quick tips video um, showing you how to do some distress, distress oxide backgrounds um, with the reinkers, not the actual pads. And then I'm also going to use some color burst liquid metals with these to add some shimmer. And this is kind of a just playing around with this to see what it'll do kind of video. Um, so I haven't tried this before making this. This was kind of new for me and for you too. So um, I like doing it this way because you can see kind of the organic process in it. And if you like what happens, go ahead and do it. And if you don't, then you know what you don't like and what to do differently next time. So I've started off with um, wild honey and picked raspberry on some watercolor paper. And this is inexpensive Canson XL watercolor paper. It's a student guard watercolor paper. It accepts these inks really well and um, doesn't absorb the moisture too fast. So it allows for blending of the colors. So then I did one in with Salty Ocean and then Twisted Citron. And then I'm gonna go in with some Peacock Feathers and Lucky Clover. The Lucky Clover will take over, as you can see when I tip this. It just ends up turning into one big green mass, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You can kind of play with it and see what happens. This I just spritzed some water on it and really allowed the colors to really bloom. But um, you don't see much of the citra, the citron or the um, peacock feathers in here. So I did go ahead and add some more of both of those. And then there's the um, color burst liquid metals in liquid sapphire. I think it's called, it's a blue one. And then whenever you get these little puddles that like turn into mud, if you let them dry, which is the green and orange mixing together, um, just dab it up with a paper towel and you can kind of save it. And there's the liquid rose. I added in some salty ocean. Now the wild honey turned out to be a lot more orange than I originally expected it to be. I, I wanted it to be a little more of a yellow, golden yellow tone like it is in the ink pad, but the oxide is a lot more orange. So what I did was I just pressed these two together because I had way too much ink on the surface. It was never gonna dry properly. So I just pressed two pieces together, um, opened them back up and you can see what I've got. Now, because these are the fusion or hybrid between uh, pigment and dye ink, they do take a lot longer to dry. And any pockets you get that don't get diluted in here will take even longer. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But you do get some really gorgeous effects. So I'm just taking my heat tool and um, moving it a lot. So this is sped up for video purposes, obviously, um, but I did keep it moving so that I didn't get any hot spots and um, keep it from curling the paper a whole lot. So those shiny parts are still wet, but you can see the shimmers dried. So here, the three colors I used are uh, Twisted Citron, Salty Ocean, and Peacock Feathers. And I just dripped them little dots this time onto my craft mat, added some water, and dipped the paper in. Um, you can do this a similar technique with the um, regular uh, distress pads, not the oxides, but the regular ones. The difference with this one, um, because the oxide has got the pigment in it, is that you can go in and, and drip little bits of color on like I'm doing from the reinker bottle and get it to to give you that bloom that oxid the the I can't talk today oxidization effect to it that you don't really get with the regular ones and um you don't get the over blending to the same extent with the oxides as you can with the regular ones So I added the um, ink drops on there and then I've kind of let it swirl around a little bit and then while it's on paper towels I've added some shimmer spritz to kind of get the color moving a little bit more. And you can use gravity to kind of rotate this around to get it to move where you want it to move. And then I just tapped tiny little drops of citron onto this. 
because I wanted a little bit more of that intense green yellow color. And then the same with the peacock feathers. And if you've got um, any kind of sprayer, the mini mister, it's hard to do it, but if you get a regular spray bottle, you can add just a tiny bit of water in a certain area, like I did here, to get just that little bit of ink moving and not the entire thing. So then again, I took my heat tool and um, helped dry this. Now with that shimmer spritz, it's not going to give you as intense of a shimmer like the liquid metals will. It's going to be more of an overall shimmer. Um, but it's just a little bit sparkly. It's nothing too intense. And I'll have a card coming up later on on my YouTube channel and my blog using this specific background. And because these do take a while to dry, if you let them air dry, you can move them around a little bit more. But I really liked how the swirl pattern goes, and it kind of reminded me a lot of marble. So um, I dried mine. And the more water you add to these, the more you dilute the ink from the reinker, the quicker it will dry. So these next two examples I have, um, the middle one I used, see this preserves abandoned coral and picked raspberry. And then this last one, okay, so there's the first one, peacock feathers, twisted citron, and salty ocean. And this middle one, abandoned coral, see this preserves, and picked raspberry. And then the end one, I did abandoned coral, picked raspberry, and salty ocean. And I started with the two pinks and added the blue in after I saw what they would do. So thanks for joining me. Leave me any comments, and I'll see you next time.